Hey, what's up? This is Andrew Olson with UrbanTacticalGearReview.com coming to you with yet another Tactical Nylon Gear Review. Today we're going to take a look at uh, a new product put out by a company called uh, Mayflower Research and Consulting. Their website is www.mayflower-rc.org. What we're looking at is another way for you to carry your tourniquets. This is a very simplistic design and to be honest with you I'm surprised that it took someone this long to come out with it. Uh, all it is is a piece of shock cord sewn in between two, pe uh, two pieces of webbing. Hopefully my autofocus isn't going to go crazy on me. Now Mayflower uses their printed uh, webbing uh, for their pattern stuff and I'm going to assume that they use just regular webbing for their their non-printed stuff. It's tacked in four places so these aren't going anywhere and as you can tell they've got quite a bit of stretch on them. The reason I ordered these is a lot of people have been running especially the, the teams have been running rubber bands uh, through their PALS channels to hold their tourniquets. This is a great, in my opinion, solution to that, albeit more expensive. You know, a, a rubber band is, what, a nickel? Uh, two of them for a dime. You can probably get a bag, a whole bag for, you know, $3.25 at, at Office Depot. Don't quote me on that. I'm not a representative of Office Depot, and I don't know their prices off the top of my head. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, so the way this is going to work is you have your PALS channels. You'll, on most stuff you have PALS channel, an empty spot, and another PALS channel. The way this works is you just slide this up behind the PALS channels like so. And then you're going to push your cat tourniquet down through the bungees. It's held in place now. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's got a little bit of side to side play, a little bit of wiggle room, but it's, I mean, I'm pushing on it and it's not coming loose. Uh, so unless you stag it on something and tear these bungees, it, it's not going to go anywhere. I saw a mention the other day of someone, it was an argument between two individuals on uh, one of the more major internet forums, and they were debating uh, the bungees versus rubber bands versus using something like the 215 gear, which is uh, a, a hard plastic holder, or even the uh, the Blue Force gear cat now, uh, which is just elastic. Um, they were saying that, oh, you know, with uh, rubber, rubber bands, you can just visually inspect it and you you know they're gone they're good to go or they're not and you'll know when to replace them and with the bungees because the bungees are wrapped inside of material you won't know when they're going to go um in the long run you know I, I couldn't tell you what's gonna what's gonna last longer but my feeling is that the bungees in this because they're not readily exposed to the elements uh, you know you don't have sun shining directly down on them um, they, they might last a little bit longer, only time will tell. And we'll do a follow up with this in a, in a couple of months, but my feeling is that this might be a great little product. And it's only five bucks. Um, I ordered two from optactical.com. I had a couple other things I needed to, uh, to order and I saw these, just thought I'd throw it in there. Anyway, so again, their website is Mayflower dash rc.org. These are also available through Optactical as I just stated. Um, this has been Andrew Rolfson with Urban Tactical Gear Review.com.